Connie Coy with Mesa Media Productions, and we're here in Mancus, Colorado with Mayor Queenie Bars, and she has a beautiful Christmas village display that she would like to tell us about. And so we're going to take a little time to just hear about how it came to be okay. and how long it's taken to build it and uh, maybe the purpose and some sentimental memories about what you've got here. Okay. All right. All we're right. going to let her take it away. Okay. Well, my mom started the village for me when my oldest son was a baby, and he is now 52. So this is, you know, 50 years in the making. Uh, started out with you know just two or three houses and now we have over 200 uh, houses and 3,000 little car people and trees it is not all up um, I split out some of the houses and, and gave to a realtor in Cortez so that they are using some of it in Cortez also and then I also ran out of lights so I stopped where I was at but it's a little bit sentimental to um, uh, the Valley Inn uh, when I was living in Vegas, I put it up at the car dealerships where I worked. And then when I came home, I asked my dad, what am I going to do with my village? And he said, you're going to take it to the nursing home and set it up. So since 2000, only two years we missed. I missed uh, 2003 because Daddy and I were in California uh, when he was uh, passing away. And then last year, I had back surgery and was unable physically to do it. So if you will notice, um, to me it's kind of special because this house right here reminds me so much of the house that I grew up in here in Mancas, uh, up on Montezuma. And then we have, um, we have an opera house, which is right over here. It's the Royal Opera House, it's not the Mancas, but maybe we'll get that changed. We have a VFW, and Montezuma County VFW is 5231, and this actually says VFW Post 5231 on it. So um, kind of reminded me of we had uh, Ace Hardware here in Mancos at one time. Um, this looks to me uh, like the Bauer House. Um, we have our hot air balloon from uh, the hot air balloon festivals here in town. Um, the carousel over there that is uh, playing music belonged to Lynn's, Lynn Lewis's mother. Uh, and when she passed away, they had a, an auction, and I was able to get that. And Lynn didn't even know it was in the auction. But so now every year she comes and helps me set it up. Uh, and, um, and then there is a, let me see if I can find it. There's a wagon somewhere with um, carolers in it, and it's, let me see if I can find it. It's the rim rock um, for, for them, and I got her one too. Right here, it says rim rock on it, and they're uh, Christmas carolin, and Lynn and Perry do a lot of that in, in Mancos for us. So, um, as people give me the houses uh, on the bottom I write the year that they're given to me and who they were from uh, next year it'll have two new uh, pieces one of the residents families uh, gave me a uh, children's hospital and a cathedral so those will be added next year and um, I love to visit with the residents and ask them which house they like best and um, Mac Neely, one of the residents here at the uh, Valley Inn, has, they have a group of uh, fifth or sixth graders, girls that come in every Tuesday. And so they are going, they are writing uh, papers on which house they like the best and why. And they're going to bring those to me tomorrow. Um, they're going to bring them to, uh, to the nursing home and then they're going to give them to me. Mac told me that uh, last night when I visited her here. So it's just, uh, it grows every year. It's different every year. It's not ever in the same place. And because um, I can't remember where I put it. So it gets a little different. Uh, we have our, our ski lodge and our skiers coming down the hill. Um, 
We've got a newspaper office, and that kind of is special to me because my uh, great uncle started the newspaper in Mancus, and my mom was editor here for 20 years. Um, so it's a conglomeration of different brands um, because towns are not all done by the same um, contractors. So there's a little bit of everything there. And I you know, bring it over the Sunday after Thanksgiving, and I leave it till the Sunday after New Year's and let the residents um, just uh, enjoy it. And I try to come over once or twice during the week and put in new light bulbs and batteries and things. And that's why I'm barefooted, because I have to step in to reach them. But it is a joy for me to share this with the residents and the staff at the Valley Inn and with the community. And I encourage the community to come over and look at it and to ask the residents about it because they can tell you more about it than I can. Any questions? I don't think I have any more to say. Fifty years. Fifty. My oldest son is 52, and my mom started when he was a baby. So over 50 years, uh, 20 years here, and 50 years uh, total putting it together. And I put it up at the car dealerships that I worked at previously, and then now it's now it's here. So. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Appreciate Mayor. it. You Appreciate bet. It.